I am Cassidy. I am the Hippie Catholic. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe if you want to be a part of the conversation. So you're probably noticing a new setup because yeah, it's a new setup. The place where I usually film in my apartment is going to be under renovation for a while, so I'm going to be filming in this room. I honestly, I don't know how long the renovations are going to take. Yeah, I just thought you guys should know. It also, it's thunderstorming outside. I always love thunderstorms, so I'm cool with that. Today's topic that we're going to be discussing is a very polarizing topic among Christianity and um, has sparked m much debate between um, Catholics and Protestants. Today we're going to be talking about is the rosary biblical and I felt like it was an appropriate time to film this um, video because it is May and um, for Catholics May is the month of Mary. But I wanted to make this video because there's been um, a lot of misconception around the rosary. I have so many stories about the rosary doing amazing like things for my spiritual life. Sorry if you hear thunder guys. Something that I love about the rosary um, is that it's a meditative prayer. And I guess misconception number one, it is not a prayer to Mary. It's a meditation on the life of Jesus. Each meditation of the rosary is focused on a biblical event in the Gospels. And number two, the repetition isn't without meaning. It's not like pagan babbling. Like the repetition of these prayers is to get you into a relaxed state of mind, to meditate and to focus on these truths about Christ. It's not like any sort of like magic spell or anything like that. I guess we're going to talk about the prayers that are um, in the rosary. So there's the Hail Mary, the Lord's Prayer, which is in the Bible. Jesus said it himself. The Glory Bees, the Apostles' Creed, and concluding with a Hail Mary. And when Catholics say Hail Mary, they're not praying to Mary, but we're asking Mary to pray with us. For example, Christians who are not Catholic, you probably ask people to pray for you all the time um, for different things, you know, going on in your life. What the Rosary Prayer does is it's asking Mary to pray with us too, the same way how you would ask your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother to pray for you. Um, it's the same kind of concept. Mary's intercessory prayers are powerful because she is the mother of Jesus, so and she was with Jesus throughout his life. So another biblical story that this practice kind of um, makes me think of is the story of Esther. Jewish people came to Esther when they were being threatened with genocide. They pled with Esther to go and intercede for them to the king so that this genocide wouldn't happen. We're asking Mary to pray to God with us. We're not worshiping Mary. We don't endorse idolatry. When we have images of the crucifix, of um, different like stations of the cross and things like that in churches, it's more of just like um, just kind of like a reminder, kind of in the same way of like how like you have pictures of your family members in your house, like so that when you see it, you think of them. You know that the picture's not them. You know, you know that like if there's a picture of your friend on your wall, you know that the picture's not your friend. Something else that I wanted to talk about when it comes to the rosary is that even if you aren't Catholic, I encourage you to pray the rosary because the rosary has just like helped my spiritual life so much it's helped me get to know jesus better it's become a coping tool for my anxiety you know it calms my mind down it's kind of like you know when you're um i don't know if any of you guys like to make crafts or anything but the rosary beads and prayers with them kind of remind me like of how when you're crocheting how it's just like repeating and it's just really calming you know that's kind of how I view um, the rosary. It's getting you into like a nice headspace so that you could just be one with God and then everything else in your life that you're worried about will kind of just like be put aside for that moment and it's just you and God. I do have one rosary with me. It's one that I got from my church. So it's just like a little plastic crucifix and like little plastic beads that they're red and blue. For each part of the rosary, you say glory be for this bead and then there's three Hail Marys. The Hail Mary prayer is actually all derived from the Bible. It's a combination of Luke 1 28 
and when Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth in Luke 141 through 42. If anybody is going and telling you, oh, we're worshiping Mary, no, we're just repeating those scriptures and putting them together, that's all it is. There's the Lord's Prayer, and then um, there's 10 beads here, and so because of that, they're called decades. There's five decades of the rosary. Something that I've done with the rosary too, because actually you don't need to have the physical rosary with you when you're praying. The rosary itself is more of a way to like keep track of where you are in the prayer. Also something that I do when I don't have a rosary, like a physical rosary on me, I just use my fingers. These are only just like helpful tools, but like you don't actually need them. You could still pray without um, the physical rosary with you. If you're interested in adding the rosary to your pray prayer life, I highly recommend it. There's also some really good rosary prayers that are just like said on YouTube that you can listen to because we all know that we're all on our phones all the time. So um, you can just have your headphones in and um, pray the rosary with um, a recording, you know, because that could just be helpful. I'll leave um, the link to one that I use a lot because it's just really calming and it just really helps me get into a good headspace. It's, it's really helpful for somebody who's a beginner or somebody who's not a cradle Catholic. There's so many helpful tools out there nowadays. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I am Cassidy. I'm the Hippie Catholic. God bless.